What is up everyone, Divin here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the Machina Plus really useful. If you watched a previous video of mine about the Machina Plus, you might know that this is my main piece of gear, like the heart of my home studio, basically. But like every piece of gear, it comes with its limitations. For me and my workflow, making lo-fi beats on that thing, is mostly not being able to use some of the third-party plugins that I use for most of what I do. So how can we bypass that? In this video, I'm gonna focus on how we can bypass that issue by giving you a hands-on example of me making a lo-fi beat. I'm gonna be making one of those bossa kind of Brazilian types of beats. So it's gonna be lots of fun. Let's get started. So one thing I really like about the Machina Plus is that you can use it both in standalone mode as like a standalone groove box, you know, the big bucks you're paying for, but also as a software controller. So you can also use the Machina software on your computer and just use your Machina Plus sort of like you would use an MK3. The benefit this actually gives us is that we can do like a seamless workflow between working on a computer and working on the Machina Plus as a standalone device, which of course gives us more freedom because we can just use it anywhere without having a laptop attached to it. I tend to use it a lot on my couch, which is over there. And most importantly, it's just a whole lot of fun to just use it standalone, you know. So what I did up until this point is that I recorded everything that I want third-party plugins or any types of effects on that I can't do on the Machina Plus itself. All of those parts of my song I recorded on the computer, on the Machina computer software. And what I did now is I added those third-party effects, as I said, on the computer because I can, can use those plugins over there. And now here it comes, how to make the Machina Plus really useful. I'm resampling everything that I recorded on the computer with my effects on as like a new WAV file that I can obviously just play like any other WAV file on the Machina Plus in standalone mode. So I'm not required to be able to use use those third-party plugins on the Machina Plus because I've got the sound that I want on my drum group, on my acoustic guitar, and I've also used a piano plugin that I don't have available on the Machina Plus. The main takeaway of this is that we now have a .wav file of our recorded sample that sounds exactly as it's supposed to sound because our effect plugins are printed onto that WAV file. Now we just need to save the file with samples and can then use it with our intended sound on the standalone Machina Plus. Everything coming after that, everything else I can do on the Machina Plus. Like I'm gonna record some bass guitar, add like a lead synth or something without needing those third party effects. So with this little internal resampling technique, I just made the Machina Plus really useful as promised in the title. So I'm getting the best of both worlds. I bypassed the issue of not having third party effects on my hand and I still get to make beats on my couch without having to worry about a laptop being attached to it. I get the best of both worlds. Sure, if we're being nitpicky, we still need to carry a computer around with us, but at least the beat making process itself is mostly standalone. And I mean, technically you could also do the same thing running your effects through the SP404 or like a guitar pedal. This tailspin vibrato can emulate some nice of that vinyl like wow effect, you know? So one thing's for certain, there's many ways to get creative, but in my case, I usually have my sound that I wanna recreate pretty much every time that I make a new track. So I kinda know how the plugins work, I kinda know how to get that exact sound that I want. And you know, these are still options. I have them here. Anyways, let me know down in the comments below if you found that tip useful. If you're on the verge to getting a Machina Plus, the third party plugin thing might be the thing that held you off. Let me know if that was like an actual solution for you. For me, I've been using the Machina Plus since it dropped back in October or November 2009, 20, I don't know. <laughs> and I've been struggling with this ever since. I don't know why I just came up with this now. And let me know if you want me to make like a more detailed overview of the workflow. I can surely do that if enough of you guys want to see that. Enough being like 10 at the size of my channel. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more helpful tips like this. I'm wishing you guys an excellent day. Peace.